like something from a World War II movie uh, when you're in your house and you hear these planes repeatedly going overhead. I, I never thought that I would experience anything like that. The state of California intends to carry out an aerial spraying eradication program for LBAM, the light brown apple moth, in Santa Cruz County every 30 days, six days in a row for the next two years. The state of California announced a plan to continue to do so for the next 10 years if it feels it is necessary. The state of California declared a state of emergency so that it was not required to do any kind of environmental impact report on the effects of the spray. We're not an insect. And why are we being sprayed over our residences? This is usually actions that, that is limited to ag fields, which is dangerous enough. But to have them sprayed over our homes and, and the places where we live, work, and play is uh, unbelievable. I've been a teacher in Santa Cruz County for the last 15 years. And um, I was made very sick by the pesticide. A window in my house was left open, and I live in the Seacliff neighborhood, and we were bombarded continuously with airplanes um, spraying this pesticide all night long. The fact that the US EPA signed off on this document as an emergency, we had no information about an emergency being declared in our community. We had no time to prepare for an emergency. There is no uh, clinics or anything set up to uh, monitor what's being done. And when I went to close the window, um, another plane dumped a whole load of pesticide. It came into my house. Both myself and um, my visitor at the time were made extremely ill for over a week. I continue to suffer from chest pains, respiratory problems, sore throat, and high blood pressure, which I never had before the date of the spraying. There is a substance that they put into this spray when they put it into the airplane, and that substance is not listed in the ingredients. And it's a surfactant, and um, it helps them be able to do the spray. Well, the, the feeling now from uh, a bi biologist who has been analyzing this is that that surfactant took the oil, the natural oils, off the feathers of some of the big seabirds. And because they didn't have that, they couldn't stay afloat anymore. And so they got completely, you know, they drowned. About three weeks after the spraying down in Monterey, I took a walk down to Elkhorn Slough, which is one of our local preserves. And I went under the bridge and I was just looking at some of the plants there. But what struck me and what I was amazed to see were in one place, literally in an area of 30 square yards, was um, 27 dead cormorants. Now usually you, wouldn't, you might not think too much about a bunch of dead seabirds, but the interesting thing about these birds is that they were all in pristine shape. They weren't eaten by worms or flies or maggots. That means they all died around the same time. Like there was, it wasn't just a random get hit by a car and one died here, one died here. All these 27, at least 27, all died around the exact same time. That same substance, that surfactant, goes into our lungs and it takes away the mucus, because we have a mucus lining in our lungs, just like the birds had this oil on their feathers. And by reducing that mucus lining, we become even more exposed for respiratory reactions to these chemicals. I also um, have to leave my house um, I've been in this area for many, many years, and I can no longer live here if they're spraying, so I have to leave my friends and community, everything I know, in order to be able to breathe. And uh, I feel like this is a violation of my constitutional rights and also a violation of our environment. The red tide is always here at certain times of the year, but the one that was just experienced was the worst anyone that surfed here for their entire life has ever seen, mm -hmm. 20 feet off the beach. This spray caused the red tide to get that bad. That's my belief. Mm -hmm. Whether it can be proved, it's obvious. Ask any surfer that's been surfing here 40 years, 30 years, or like myself, 20 years. No one's ever seen that. One of our colleagues um, has three cats. The night of the spraying, as uh, people had been directing, they brought their cats in the house. One of the cats got out during the time of the spraying.
Literally two days after the spraying, this cat, perfectly healthy, seven-year-old, drops dead in their backyard. My name is Nora Caruso. I'm program director at the Santa Cruz Toddler Care Center. We have children here one to three years old. We know what kind of an effect any toxins, any medicines, anything for children this small have on children. That coupled with the way they interact with their environment. Children this age are tactile learners. They're learning about their environment through touching things, through rolling around with their entire bodies, and more importantly, by putting things in their mouths. So anything that is in their environment will inevitably end up in most of their mouths. So either it's absorbed through their mouth or through their bodies. At first we thought it was the dog that made me have the allergies, but it wasn't actually the dog. It was the asthma thing, and it was kind of um, strange that it happened. Until somebody, until the state, can absolutely assure the safety, the long-term safety effects, whether you're a pregnant woman with a developing fetus, whether you're a nursing mother, they should not be applying or exposing us to this. I'm Laurie Chaffee with albamspray.com, and one of the features that we have on the website, albamspray.com, is a calendar, a list of events and or meetings that are happening regarding just this issue the issue of aerial spraying in our communities. We're going to need to unify all of the voices against aerial spraying um, together, much like we've done online in the petition. If you haven't signed the petition, I'd like to encourage you to go to stopthespray.org and sign it. We want to develop here in Santa Cruz with the help of all the members of our alliance, the kind of materials and the tools that we can then send to other communities who are going to be sprayed next.